Hello, hello, hello. So, crown molding late, and I said I would make a video. Um, this is what we got from the switch. This is what the customer wanted. They wanted crown molding that lights up Coven for people in England. So, running through what we got, uh, let's flip the camera around. So, we've gone with light coming down rather than light going up. So, I've put up some trim, which is actually like baseboard that I've made this for these angled corners so the crown can sit on that. What you end up with is this scenario. So, you end up with this is your RGB, this is your white. So, I cut this on an angle to throw the light away from the wall, and these sit side by side, and this is on an angle so that the crown can fix to that. So, then you end up with this scenario like that. I've got to put an end in there. So you end up with something like that looks a lot like this. All these pencil marks are just where all those joist, uh, those little noggins are that I can nail into. And then I'm using these RGB switches. Middle turns it on and off, and then you can just color wheel. It's what I used on my shower. If you see my other videos, you can change the color wheel. You can see the walls are a bit in and out. So just talking to the customer about potentially mud in that, because that would drive me mad and you can have white if you want a white there's the white so as i think i said before they come with these transformers and these transformers are junk these are like mm, four amps now when you get and you get on a long run, like around here, so I've run a cable to each end. So I've got a bunch of wires coming out the wall when I put the ceiling up. I've got all my wiring coming out there. So one end of the wiring is there, runs all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And the other end of the wiring is there. And then I solder them straight to the LED tabs. So powered each end so you don't get voltage drop off. So rather than use those transformers that they come with that are four amps, I use these. Ten amps. So these power packs are meant to be left on continually. You can see they've got heat, uh, heat soaks on them. Can think of the word? Heat soaks on them. So that this thing is a lot better than that. That thing won't last long and it probably wouldn't run that distance of LEDs. These things are not that expensive, and I'm actually mounting these in the garage. So the other side of this is the customer's garage, we're in the basement. So it means I can run all my transformers, I run all my power out there, and then I can you know, have them 110 supplied, 12 volt coming back into the switches, and then like here's all my wiring, so these just get connected to these switches. So then you get this kind of effect. Let me just... So the whole room is going to get going to get these crown lights. So you can manually select the color, or you go through some preset programs of changing your know, flash at different speeds. They fade from one color to another. So the whole room, all the way around, is going to get this colored crown. And this end where the pool table is, this is going to get colored crown as well. I've already started on this. As well as, so it gives you an idea of, and the customer wanted that, and I wanted the light to come down rather than go across the ceiling. So it lights up the floor a little bit better, like a disco. And then the customer's got main lights that I fitted. Again, 12 volt LED, natural daylight. So when he plays pool, he can, uh, he can see what's going on. And the Lutron dimmers on here. So again, all the, color, all the main lights can be dimmed up and down. Camera just automatically adjusts, but these go proper dim. Yeah, so this is my take on LED crown lighting. So again, here you can see I've got one set of cables. This set go to this run, and they end over there, and there's another set of cables. And then there's another set of cables there, and they go to this run. So this is in two L shapes, hence why there's going to be two switches there. I said to the customer, from my experience, to do one run or one switch, you'll throttle the power too much and you'll get light fade. But can you imagine, and I will do a video at the end, but can you imagine when the whole thing is done, and this is what you get. Uh, when it comes to actually cutting crown, I know everyone does it different. I just, uh, I hate seeing corners that are re really badly done. 
So what I've done here is, these are done on a jig and then they're PDR glued together with a backer in the back of it to add strength. You can see a patch of some mud there. But yeah, that corner and that corner glued on the floor and then put up in situ. So you get super tight corners. So but yeah, and these are dimmable as well. Customer wanted these dimmable, so these are dimmable. Yeah, if you just want one colour, you can have just one colour. Uh, the TV was originally on this wall, and now the TV and Dolby 5.1 systems going in over there. So I've got to cut some holes in my brand new ceiling to move some uh, move some wire in, but that's not a problem. But yeah, I can't wait to see this finished.